Hi, Michelle here from Easy Report Pro. And as a school-based therapist, do you wonder why we have to write so many diagnostic reports? Well, the purpose of our reports is to summarize and drive decisions. And this happens after all the testing is done. It's our job to make sure our reports are written in a really comprehensive and professional way that accurately reflects the speech and language or communication delay or disorder, if there is one. And there are three main reasons why, as a school-based clinician, we might be asked to do an evaluation and then write a subsequent report. The first is to justify entrance and exit criteria. We will test for initial evaluations. We'll also test every three years. And it's our job to determine the student demonstrates a communication delay or disorder that impacts their access to the educational curriculum. So that's the one reason why we will do assessments. And a lot of school districts will also need to do assessments and then write up the reports also to um, discharge students from services. The second reason is to document and track progress over time. Again, as school-based clinicians, we're going to be evaluating students at least every three years. So our reports are really a lovely way for professionals, all of the professionals on that student's team, to um, identify and see the progress over time. And then the third main reason why school-based clinicians will do evaluations and write up reports is to identify the learning profile and identify needs, recommendations, and accommodations. And this is true even if the student does not qualify for services. So diagnostic reports are so important. They're an essential resource, resource for collaboration between all stakeholders on the student's team. They provide that information, that diagnostic data, and help clinicians and teams make informed diagnostic decisions. Hope this was helpful. Happy reporting.